My boyfriend and his friends trapped me in a house and assaulted me. Disclaimers did not my story Tommy said to me on Instagram. I met my boyfriend in college last year. We had the same class and during class I would always catch him staring at me. At first it was a little creepy, but once we started talking I realized how charming he was. One day he came up to me and just started asking me about where I was from. And right away I got these butterflies in my stomach. He was really attractive. And I could tell that the girls in our class all looked at him a certain way too. He asked me out on a date and I said yes, but when some of my friends found out that I was going on a date with him, they started telling me things. One of my friends told me that there was a rumor going around that he had assaulted another girl. I just couldn't picture him being that way. He didn't seem capable of anything like that. Later on that day, I got a message from another girl telling me the same thing. And when I asked her information about the girl he supposedly assaulted, they told me that they didn't remember her name. That apparently she just left school after it happened. Part 2 is up. My boyfriend and his friends trapped me in a house and assaulted me. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. After I heard about the rumors that he had assaulted a girl, I asked for evidence and nobody had any. Nobody even remembered the name of the girl. So I decided to go on the date with him. He took me on a picnic and at first it was really nice. He had asked me what some of my favorite foods were and he brought them all with him. He brought hummus and cherry tomatoes and chips. But five minutes into the picnic, he grabs me and kisses me. Now I'm not saying that I didn't want to be kissed, I just didn't want it to happen so quickly. And he didn't even ask me for permission, which looking back now was the first red flag. After that, he couldn't keep his hands off of me. I never said no, so he just kept going. He kept touching my shoulder and my legs, and he would lean in and kiss me every now and then. By the end of the day, I was into it. The rest of the relationship, he was always a little bit aggressive. He never asked me if I wanted to do anything, he would just do it. A week after we started dating, he introduced me to his friends. One of them jokingly asked my boyfriend when it was his turn to take with me. Part 3 is up. My boyfriend and his friends trapped me in a house and assaulted me. Disclaimer, this is not my story, Tom said on me on Instagram. That's when one of his friends asked him when it was his turn to take with me. And although he was joking, it was disgusting. My boyfriend laughed, though. He thought it was so funny. Mind you, this is the first time I'm ever meeting his group of friends. After that, there were a few incidents. On one occasion at a party, one of his friends forced me to dance with him for three minutes. All the while, he kept grabbing my waist and my butt. Finally, my boyfriend came back and I told him and he just laughed. Another time, we were at the beach and one of his friends came up behind me and undid my bikini top. Essentially, I flashed everyone. Stuff like that kept happening until the night of the incident. We're all walking back from a club when we stopped at a house. It looked abandoned my boyfriend insisted that we all go in. I said no, but he finally convinced me. And as soon as we get into the house, my boyfriend tells me that I need to run. He looks so serious that I actually ran up the stairs. Then I could feel all of them chasing me. One of them grabbed my shirt and ripped it. And I got into one of the rooms. I tried to close the door, but they opened it. And another one grabbed my hair and pushed me up against a wall. He started trying to kiss me, but I bit him. I ran into another room and one of them was already there. He tripped me and when I fell to the ground, he grabbed my neck. Then he started saying that I've been teasing them this whole time. I finished tearing my shirt and took it off. I was screaming at the top of my lungs at this point. Another one of the guys came in and I was able to get up and run. They chased me around the house for what seemed like an eternity, but it was probably only 30 seconds. And that's when I realized that the only person I hadn't seen was my boyfriend. And I remembered the rumors about my boyfriend having assaulted a girl. I realized that it was true and that I was just his next victim. Only this time his friends were involved. Part 4 is up. My boyfriend and his friends trapped me in a house and assaulted me. As I'm hiding in a corner hoping that none of them find me, I hear footsteps walking towards me. I realize that this is probably where they had brought the other girl to assault her, and that they knew every corner of this house so there was no way for me to hide. Suddenly I feel someone grab my elbow and pull me up. It was the friend that had torn my shirt and told me that I was teasing them. Immediately he pins my arms behind me and starts trying to kiss me. Then he actually said that I should be flattered because they all find me so beautiful, and that the more I fight back, the funner it is for them. Suddenly, I hear my boyfriend yell stop, runs up the stairs and into the room. At this point, the other three guys were in the room, just watching the other one kiss me. Then he said the joke is over, he grabs me and takes me out of the house. That's when I turn to him and say that the rumors were true this whole time. Then he grabbed me by the shoulders, looked me in the face, and said that she had wanted it, and that his friends and him were just joking around in the house. He dropped me off at my dorm, and the next morning, I woke up with bruises and hickeys all over my body. I reported it to the school, but they've done nothing. My boy my boyfriend keeps swearing that it's a joke. I blocked him, but he keeps showing up at my door. He's being sweet and even sending me groceries. I'll keep you guys updated. Imagine if I listen what a hater gotta say. I never give a broke bitch any time of day. You ugly when you jealous, bitch. Look at that face. I'm hot right now and you're not, okay? Oh, you big mad? Oh, you big mad? Got a big bag, popping big tags. All white Rover, yeah, whip that. Ate it up, left no crumbs, cause it's shit smack. I just sit back, let the chips stack. People juice start a boy. My boyfriend wants to marry me so that he can get his green card. What should I do? Disclaimer is not my story time. I'm on Instagram. Okay, this is crazy. My boyfriend and I met two weeks ago. We met through Hinge and after two days of talking, he asked me out. I quickly said yes. We were super compatible. He's a model and I'm a model. I'm an actress and he's trying to be an actor. So things just seem perfect. 
Oh yeah, and he's really, really hot. We went out to lunch and talked for four hours. The entire four hours, we just laughed and had such a good time. We talked about everything. Our families, our values, our morals. It was honestly the most refreshing conversation I've had on a date ever. Most men just talk about themselves. And he asked me so many questions. After the date, we spent every single day together. We even went to Disney and it was so fun. While we were at Disney, he kissed me for the first time. And he said that he would love to marry me. My boyfriend wants to marry me so that he can get his green card. What should I do? Disclaimer is not my story time. Send me on Instagram. He finally kissed me when we were in Disney. Disney. And that's when he told me that he would love to marry me. At first, I was very flattered, but then he said, wouldn't you want to marry me? And I said, I mean, I don't really know you. And he said, we'll get to know each other, don't worry. After that, we spent every single day together. At the time, he was living with his roommate and he didn't really like her. So he would come over to my apartment almost every single day and sleep there. He would go to Air One and buy all of my groceries, come over and cook for me. Every single day, he made us amazing food. We'd watch movies together and we'd help each other with all our work stuff. I felt like I was falling in love with him and I'd only known him for a week at that point. That's around the time that he told me he could and stand his roommate anymore and he asked me if he could just stay with me for a few weeks i told him yes but that he had to help me with the rent and of course he said yes so this man moved into my apartment after one week of knowing each other i mean am i going crazy part three is up my boyfriend wants to get married to me so that he can get his green card. What should I do? Disclaimer is not my story time. I said I'm on Instagram. He moved in a week after we met. Everything was going great. He helps out with the bills, does all the cooking. He buys all the groceries and basically does everything for me. He even takes care of my dog, does my laundry. I mean, he's everything I've ever asked for. And we have such a good time together. We watch movies every single night. We go out to dinner and hang out with friends. And he's so funny and makes me laugh so much. Fast forward another week. This is when he says that he really does want to marry me. I told him that I would love to marry him too, but that we don't know each other yet. And he said the L word. And I said it back. That's when he said that the only way he could stay in the country with me was if we got married. And that he had already looked into other possibilities, but that was the only one. I told my parents, but they freaked out and told me I shouldn't marry him. All my friends think that he's just trying to use me, but I don't think so. I really do believe this man loves me. I mean, he does so much for me and really cares for me. So I need you guys to help me think of ways to put him to the test. How can I know that he's faithful and that he really loves me and isn't using me? What should I do? I'm 16 years old and pregnant and I haven't told my parents. I'm actually five months along. What should I do? My parents are extremely strict. If you think your parents are strict, you haven't met mine. From the time I was a kid, I was never allowed to go to sleepovers or even go to friends' houses. All my friends had to come over to my house. Luckily, my parents are pretty cool and I do have fun with them. But I quickly started resenting them. Here's the reason I think they're super strict. My mom actually ended up getting pregnant from my dad when she was 16. So they were super young. And of course, they didn't want the same thing to happen to me. I guess I kind of understood why they were strict. When I was 13, I decided I would start sneaking out to go to parties. All of my friends had parties and I was the only one that was never allowed to go. So I actually got pretty good at sneaking out. I convinced my parents that I would go to bed early. Then I would have a backpack ready and I would just sneak out the window. Luckily, I'm on the first floor. Part two is up. I'm 16 and pregnant and I haven't told my parents what should I do. I got really good at sneaking out of the house to go to parties. Eventually, I started sneaking out almost three times a week. Anytime anyone was having a get together or a party or when I was asked out by a boy. My parents had a strict rule that I could not date any boys, especially spend any time alone with them. But this boy at school that I really, really liked asked me out. Apparently, my friends made sure to tell him that I liked him and then he said that he liked me. So there was no way I was going to pass up on the chance to just hang out with him. I was 15 and I had never been kissed. So I snuck out of the house just like I did every other time. We actually met at a park and just talked for like two hours. Then he walked me home and everything was pretty innocent. I even thought about telling my parents, but I decided not to. But this boy quickly started pressuring me into doing things that I wasn't ready to do. It's not like I was sneaking out with the intention to do anything. I just wanted to have fun. But he started asking me to wear different clothes, and I did. He even asked me to get a belly button piercing. Part 3 is, uh, I'm 16 and pregnant, and I still haven't told my parents. And I'm also five months along. That's when this boy started pressuring me into get a belly button piercing. He started changing the way that I dressed. And he started pressuring me into doing things like kissing and touching. At this point, I was still sneaking out of the house almost every single night to see him. That's when he started pressuring me into going to his house instead of the park. And I said yes because I didn't want him to break up with me. When I told him I didn't want to go all the way, he told me that there were plenty of girls in school that would happily take my place. So we went all the way. At this point, I was 15 and I had just gotten my period. By the way, I didn't even tell my mom about my period because I thought they would freak. After two months passed, I didn't get my period. And I thought that was normal. I had literally no idea about periods. Then another two months passed and no period. And that's when I started feeling really sick. And I thought, well, I might as well go get a test. And it was positive. When I told the boy, he broke up with me and told me that I probably did it with somebody else. I feel like I can hide the whole pregnancy because I'm pretty skinny. My mom's asking me why I'm wearing big clothes. My parents will literally kill me. What should I do? If you have dark circles, welcome to the club. I needed to find something desperately to help me with my dark circles. I know that some of you are going to say that mine aren't bad, but it still bothers me, so I wanted to do something about it. So I started using Bliss's new Rest Assured eye cream, and I put it to the test for six days. I put it on morning and night, and I actually see a difference. Look at that. It has niacinamide, vitamin C, and caffeine. I'm leaving some info there so you guys can read it. This is super affordable, so if you guys have dark circles, try it out and thank me later.
story time about how I've never farted in front of my boyfriend and can't even poop if he's in my house. Which led me to pooping in my car by mistake. Disclaimer is not my story time with me on Instagram. My boyfriend and I have been together for three months. We are so in love and we met through a dating app. He even moved into my apartment. I know some might say it's quick, but it's just meant to be. We are so in love. We get along super, super well. We're so attracted to each other. Our sexy time is like amazing. Like the best. Like the best I have ever had. And I was the one that asked him to move in with me and he said yes right away. I actually thought he was going to say no, but he was so down for it that I was so happy. Before he moved in, he actually would come over to my house all the time and he started farting in front of me. It was cute, funny, whatever. But I can't bring myself to doing it in front of him. I can't even poo when he's in my apartment, much less could I poo when I was at his. So I found myself having to hold it in all day long. Anytime we would go to a restaurant, I would try to go, but sometimes I just couldn't go because I knew that he was there. It's all become very complicated. Now that he moved into my place, we love watching movies. So we were sitting on the couch watching a movie, and suddenly I felt the urge to go to the bathroom. There was no way I was going to go poop while he was there. Out of nowhere, I jump up and tell him that I have to go out. Get in my car, part two is up. Story time about how I can't fart in front of my boyfriend or even poop when he's in the same place as me. Which caused me to poo in my car by mistake. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I'm sending me on Instagram. Out of nowhere, I jump off the couch and tell him I have to go to the supermarket. He offers to go for me and I said no. But in hindsight, I should have said, yeah, sure, you go so that I could stay alone in the apartment by myself and go poo. I grab my keys and jump in the car. And then suddenly, I start pooping. I couldn't control myself. I couldn't believe it was happening right then and there. I stopped the car and pulled over and just pooped in my car. Luckily, I was wearing baggy pants, so you couldn't really notice it. Suddenly, I remembered I had an extra change of clothes in my car. Look behind me and there it was, a pair of jeans. I take off my sweatpants and try to wipe myself as best as I could. And I actually went to a CVS, went into the bathroom, cleaned myself. I even bought baby wipes. Oh my God. I changed into the jeans and I got back in the car and went home. When I get home, my boyfriend says, did you just change? Then I told him I ripped my pants somehow in the grocery store. And then he said, you didn't bring anything back from the grocery store. And I didn't know what to say. Part three is up. So I walk in on my cousin and my boyfriend doing the dirty on her couch. They quickly get up from the couch and get dressed. Of course, by that time, I'm in hysterics. I'm crying and yelling. My boyfriend instantly got on his knees and begged me for forgiveness. I went up to my cousin and I punched her right in the face. She wasn't expecting that. And I said, well, this is the guy that you've been dating, isn't it? She said yes, and that she was just trying to find the best way to tell me. And so she just thought the best way to tell me was to get me to walk in on her and him doing the dirty. I punched her again. My boyfriend came to her rescue, though instantly went into hero mode, which made me even angrier, so I punched him too. I stormed out of her house and went back to my house. Well, I told my parents everything, and my dad went over to my uncle's house, my cousin's dad, and he told him everything. She was about to turn 19, so he took away her phone and her car. And I get a phone call from my ex, come back for part three. Part three. So my lying, cheating ex calls me and explains to me why he actually slept with my cousin. He said that he was so lonely and that he didn't know what to do, and that the closest thing to me he could find was my cousin. Right, as if that was any comfort to me. He said I should be grateful that I didn't cheat with someone else. I told him he had totally betrayed my trust and that I could never ever trust him again. And then he confessed that she was pregnant and that his parents wanted them to get married. He said he just wanted to give me a heads up. Then he said that we could still be together, but just not tell anyone. So basically he wanted me to be his side piece. I couldn't believe the words that were coming out of his mouth. It was like I didn't know this man. Guess what I did? I recorded the entire conversation. So I went straight to my cousin and I let her listen to it. She was so shocked. She couldn't believe that he would offer to have me as a side chick. Well, I also let my uncle listen to it. He went to my ex's house and beat him up. Honestly, that made me sad, but he deserved it. They now have a baby and he's gained 50 pounds. Trust your instincts, girl. And always record your conversations. Also, how cute are my nails? <laughs>